Hi, five fans. It's uh, Ray here again um, from um, Split, Decision, Split Decision Boxing, which is my YouTube channel. And those of you that follow me uh, will know that. Well, literally hot off the press. I've literally just stopped watching a press conference um, on YouTube, funny enough. Um, uh, it was. It, I'm not sure whether it was broadcast on Sky. But the big news is this. September... 21st Wembley Stadium the Riyadh season continues it's called the Wembley edition and the uh headline fight the main event is uh a heavyweight clash between our very own ex world champion Anthony Joshua and current IBF world champion Daniel Dubois Mouth-watering? What do you think? I'll tell you my view, what I think. I think it's a fight that needs to happen. I think I've spoken about this before in previous videos. They're very, very similar, aren't they? They're similar in build. They're similar in their fight styles. They've actually got very similar records. I think it's uh, 28 and 3, 28 wins and 3 defeats for AJ, 22. 23 and 2, I think, for Dubois. Uh, both have lost to Usyk. Of course, um, AJ lost to Usyk, current world champion Usyk, twice. And AJ also lost to Joseph Parker. And as for Daniel Dubois, his, his defeats were uh, Usyk and um, Joe Joyce. It's an interesting one. From what I've, I'm, I'm still literally, as I'm speaking, I'm still watching the feed on my TV of the uh, after the event, after the, the press conference, and, the, and they're talking about things. So I'm trying to pick up any little snippets that I can from there. But apparently, this is genuine bad blood between the two as well. Um, apparently, the, uh, prior about an hour or so prior to the actual press conference. Dubois and uh, AJ were in a room together for some kind of event, well, promotional event, I guess. And apparently it all kicked off quite majorly, more than just handbags at 50 paces, shall we say. So that builds up a nice little bit of history between the two as well. Um, I'm trying to work out... Oh, by the way, if you're interested in this, if you want tickets, tickets go on sale on Friday... I'm not sure what time, midday, I think, possibly. Uh, but they go on sale on Friday. They're estimating, it's a 100,000 uh, arena. They're estimating these will sell out within five minutes, two to five minutes. It's There's a great undercard. I'm not going to go through all the undercard, but you've got some great fighters on the undercard as well. Potentially the best, Frank, to quote Frank Warren five minutes ago, in his opinion, the best British boxing event in history in terms of the fights that are on on the undercard uh, and everything else. So that's interesting. But I want to talk about Dubois and I want to talk about AJ. We all know the, we all know the journey that AJ's been on. Um, he became the golden boy, Eddie Hearn's golden boy, matchroom boxing's golden boy, didn't he? And, uh, you know, there was lots and lots of hype all around around him and it's Mike Tyson's style he not in the same style of boxing by the way but Mike Tyson's style he came he burst onto the scene knocking everybody out you know anybody who was put in front of him he was quite raw powerful had a big hit a bit like Frank Bruno was back in the day when he first started as well um and of course he won the world titles um and of course, coming up alongside him was 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 uh, Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury, of course, as we know, won the world title. Um, and it was destined that these two would meet, but history took each of them in a different path. Um, Fury's gone on to become, uh, went on to 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 win the world title, and subsequently lost it to the current reigning who was the current reigning undisputed uh, world champion 
Alexander Usyk, but of course Usyk has had to relinquish the IBF version of the belt, and which makes, as the number one contender, it makes, for IBF, it makes Daniel Dubois the interim IBF world champion. So there's a belt on the line, the IBF world heavyweight champ title belt. The fruits for the winners are, should be, a fight against the winner of the forthcoming fight between Usyk and rematch fight between Usyk and uh, and Fury. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one as well, by the way. Um, and, I, and I wouldn't... I don't know. I was going to say I wouldn't like to predict how either Dubois or AJ would fare. But we know the history, don't we? That uh, they've both lost to Usyk already. And in fact, AJ's lost to Usyk twice. So what would make him think that he would stand a better chance of, on a third go? I don't know. Usyk, for me, totally worked um, AJ out and did a job on him on both uh, both fights. But anyway, so that's what's, that's what's coming up. Um, in terms of the fight, difficult one to predict, you know. Because the stats are very similar, as I say. Their actual bodily physical stats are very similar. Um, I think AJ's six foot six. He's got an 82 inch reach. Dubois is six foot five. He's got a four inch shorter reach. They both have uh, 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 their style of fighting is, is jab. Strong, strong jab. Big hit to knock people out. Um, Dubois, as we know, comes tends to come over the top with his uh, with, for his knockouts. Both are susceptible as well. We know that now by their losses and the, and the manner of their losses. They can both be hurt. They can both be knocked down, and they can both be knocked out. So. I actually believe, pound for pound, if you're looking for a fight that's really, really difficult to call, this is the one. I think AJ has, what he has on his side is experience of fighting in such a high-profile fight. Of course, Dubois never fought at Wembley. Um, he's never fought in front of 100,000 people either. Uh AJ's used to that. He's used to the hype. He's used to the uh, to the lights, the big lights, the big crowd, the big event. That will go in his favour. That will definitely go in his favour. But I would not be surprised to see an to see a Dubois win on the night. I'm not going to give my official prediction on this yet. I'll do that nearer the date. Uh, we've got a long way to go. It's September the 21st. Um, as I say, there is an undercard. I'm probably going to do a separate video for each of the undercard fights or the main ones that I think are, are worthy of uh, my um, expert opinion um, as to who will win and why and how and you know what I think of the fight. It's going to be a great night if you can get your tickets. So, as I say, they go on sale on Friday. Again, it's you know part of the Riyadh season. Warren and Hearn working working in partnership after all these years and all the animosity and all the rivalry between them. And Warren, you know, disappeared off the scene, didn't he? For um, for a long time, he disappeared off the scene, uh, off the boxing scene. And now he's back big time. So that's interesting as well. But that's it, folks. I just wanted to put it out there just so you all know. Uh, let me know in your comments below who you think is going to win. Out of Usyk, out of, Usyk, out of AJ and Dubois. Let me know why you th you've come to that decision. And let me know how you think they'll win. KO, decision, whatever. Be interested for you to, to know 
to gauge the, the public's feeling. Do me a favor, if you like this video, as I say, this is Split Decision Boxing. Do me a favor, hit the like, hit the uh, subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, make a positive comment or a negative one if you think this is crap. You're all entitled to your view. I'm entitled to my opinions too. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Keep fighting.